Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we bring you a shocking story. A huge sinkhole has led to a major discovery. Let's see what's going on. The story takes place in the small town of Black Hawk, South Dakota. A man named Albert writes, The residents of the city experienced a thrilling incident. It was on a calm afternoon that he discovered a huge sinkhole in his front yard. The incident not only triggered an evacuation but also revealed secrets that had been hidden for years. Albert was a resident of this small town with his family for 15 years. He loves gardening and mows his lawn every day after work. Then one day when he was about to mow the lawn something unexpected happened. Albert stepped out of his house and was surprised to find his lawn gone. It was replaced by a giant sinkhole. He might not have survived if he hadn't acted quickly enough. As he tried to comprehend what was happening in front of him, he heard a scream coming from a neighbor's house. Albert rushed to his neighbor's house and knocked on the door. A neighbor, John Trudeau, opened the door, shared with Albert his strange experience, similar to what happened to Albert. Both men agreed that the strange events they had witnessed were enough to declare a state of emergency. But a pressing question arises, are they the only ones being affected? Albert and John ran down the street to see more people evacuating their homes, shouting that an earthquake had happened. Yet Albert believes this is worse than an earthquake. A few days later, the authorities revealed the surprising mystery behind these sudden events. The opening of a new sinkhole forced the immediate evacuation of six families. Then all the residents heard a loud bang as they turned their heads. They saw the driveway and front yard collapse into a giant sinkhole. It's an emergency and the residents don't know what to do. Fortunately, the authorities arrived in time to help frighten the residents, revealing incredible facts. To people's surprise, the authorities conducted a thorough investigation, revealed that their home was built on an abandoned gypsum mine. It's incredible that this crucial detail has been overlooked for years, endangering countless lives. To better understand the situation, authorities sought a cave association called Pahasapa. Paha Sapa Grotto with the help of the spelunking group. The Pahasapa Cavern Association is a branch of the National Cavern Society known for its expertise in speleology, renowned for its expertise in conservation and exploration. One member of the group realized when they heard about the sinkhole. The emergency departments lacked the necessary experience and immediately realized that their assistance was necessary. Cavers park near the sinkhole because the situation is uncertain. They arrived on the scene quickly and what they found exceeded their expectations. The team found that the mine extends 600 feet. The fact that she still holds abandoned mining equipment and boreholes indicates that the mine has been abandoned for decades. In the cave, the explorers not only encountered mining equipment but also found antiques and bones. They are ready to go deeper into the mine and explore it more eagerly. Although members of the Pahasapa Cave Society have experience exploring deep caves, but they're excited about getting into this new. The gypsum mines that have emerged are still suspicious. Caves are their area of expertise, not mines, so they tread carefully into this uncharted territory. But over time, they realized that someone had to take on the task, and they were the best option at the time. After entering the mine, the explorers made a surprising discovery along the way. They carefully crossed the mine as members of the Pahasapa Cave Society accidentally made a surprising discovery. To their surprise, 
they found some old railroad tracks. These tracks were used when the mine was still transporting materials. The cave's natural elements also fascinate explorers. They encountered a substance similar to wood but which dissolves into pulp when touched. Is this a natural phenomenon or is it due to prolonged aging? Deeper into the mine, the explorers encountered something puzzling that stopped them. They found a rusty old car between the cave walls. How did it get into the cave remains a puzzling question with no answer. Not only did the explorers find one vehicle but they also found the remains of a huge truck in the mine. The truck was stuck in the rocks and could not be filmed. As a result of these discoveries, cavers wanted to know how did these vehicles get into the mine. Were they discarded or were they just there all along? The explorers were not surprised by each discovery. Instead, they focused on their mission mapping the mine. They've surveyed 2300 feet of passage but they don't know how much more they have to survey. Some tunnels cannot be accurately measured due to landslides, but the other tunnels are 40 feet wide. At a later press conference, it was revealed that the mines were once owned by the Dakota Gypsum Company. Because gypsum is usually used to make gypsum board, it's important for a company that makes gypsum board. It makes sense to own a mine, yet there are still many unanswered questions and explorers have worked tirelessly to find them. At the same time, a more pressing issue arose. What are the affected families doing who have lost their homes? For those who have lost their homes, the discovery of the gypsum mine is both fascinating and heart-wrenching. In total, Shar families were affected by the sinkhole involving 30-35 people. People, when Albert Rice's lung collapsed, he immediately sought out his neighbor, John Trudeau and asked a question that many of his neighbors are asking. Did the contractor know about the mine? Is he willfully blind? The question of who was to blame became acute because insurance companies refused to cover the collapse. Insurance is provided for the damage cost. So many homeless families turn. GoFundMe and other platforms raised funds for temporary relief. But will the money raised be enough to get them back on their feet? Mid-County, Texas The Federal Emergency Management Agency FEMA has been asked for help. To help families who have lost their homes, the affected residents have also filed lawsuits against the authorities as publicly available reports indicate. The Mid-County Planning Commission was aware of the mine's existence when it approved the zoning plan. They also filed lawsuits against real estate agents and developers who may have known about the dangers. The mine poses a danger not only to the area but also to the nearby highway. Engineers had to survey the I-90 to make sure there were no sinkholes near the highway. After inspecting an underground mine hole 1,500 feet and 18 meters deep, experts confirmed that the road in front of the mine was safe. With roads repaired, the county can focus on residents and decide what to do with this unexpected discovery. Residents who lost their homes are seeking 35 million million and 40 million million in punitive damages to see their homes collapse for years. For the residents whose walls hold so many memories, it's very difficult. Even with financial compensation, however, residents face difficulties resettling in new locations. Therefore, the answer to the question of whether the authorities can emotionally compensate the residents is negative. The least they can do is speed up the process and provide residents with the compensation they deserve without hesitation, and not let them fight for it. Sinkholes, while always unwelcome and surprising, have happened in the past. April 2020, the Pantheon in Rome, a huge sinkhole opened up. 
Archaeologists found ancient Roman paving stones in the sinkhole via Marco near Colosseum, Italy, in January 2020. A sinkhole also opened up in Aurelio. Many people have been displaced. Authorities had to evacuate an entire apartment building nearby for safety reasons. Like other sinkholes, this one is being closely investigated. The surrounding ground is also checked to prevent further sinkholes from appearing. When residents of South Dakota filed a lawsuit against the authorities, they spent a lot of time studying sinkholes. Be prepared for a legal battle in court. They formed groups to distribute research materials to each other to cover as much information as possible. Their hard work and determination were not in vain. The legal process is indeed long and complex but moving in a positive direction. The court recognized the physical and mental experience of the residents. Psychological and emotional trauma and are committed to providing reparations for their justice as soon as possible. This is the story of the huge sinkhole that led to the momentous discovery. A peaceful afternoon turned into a disaster in the lives of the residents, but it also reveals hidden secrets and historical sites. We hope the affected residents can rebuild their homes as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing stories and content. See you next time.